Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Come on, it's hump day. That's for you, David. I hope you're watching. If not, then someone else can smile about that. But it's also our time where we pray and fast, and we would love for you to join us on Fasting Wednesday, where we just remember what our nation is going through, our community, our church is facing, and our world is facing right now. And we just spend an extra time just saying, God, would you remember us as we fast and pray and just believe in for God to do great breakthroughs and miracles in lives. Also, it's May edition small group coming up beginning Sunday, May the 3rd. It's going to be through the week. We have small groups throughout the day and every night of the week. And we want you to be involved. There's options for you. You need to sign up. Life change happens in the context of relationships. It's so important. While we're distancely, distanced, well, we're socially distanced, as they say, physically distanced, that's the one I'm looking for. We've got to stay socially connected. And we want you to be a part of that. So please, if you haven't signed up, sign up. Everything's going to be done through Zoom meetings. So wherever you're at, you can just tune in with us and we can have a great time all discussing the same subjects, topics we're discussing Sunday mornings, stressed out or how to get the stress out of our life. And we're excited about that. So here we are again, soaping the word. We're looking at the scripture. We're looking at the observation of the scripture. What's it saying to who? The application. What do I need to see in this? How do I apply it to my life? And then we're praying, God, give me the strength to be able to do that. So here we are in Psalms 34, verse 18 today. From the New Living Translation, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirit is crushed. Ever been there? Maybe you're there right now, brokenhearted, crushed spirit. I love how the Message Bible presents it. It says, If your heart is broken, you find God right there. If you're kicked or if you feel kicked in the gut, he'll help you to catch your breath. So what's the observation today? Come on, we all wish that we could escape the trials. How many times have you perhaps said this? I know I have. God, but I'm serving you. I'm a pastor. I'm leading. I'm building a church. I'm trying. God, why these troubles? Why these trials? Come on, why the pain, the grief, the loss, the sorrow? the failure, or even the daily frustrations that just constantly wear you down. But you know what? God promises in that place that we may find ourselves to be close, to be close to us in that state. In other words, it doesn't mean he's closer because we're in that place, because he's always close. But here's what I believe will happen. We'll sense his presence in a greater way during those times of greater need in each and every one of our lives. But God doesn't just promise to be close. I can be close to you. But God promises to be close and the way of escape, the power, the strength, the courage, the wisdom that you need to help us through our problems. So what do we know about God? Sometimes he delivers us from them, but also sometimes he delivers us in them. So here's the application today. And I want to use our theme verse for this week that we're choosing for this week through our church, and it's Galatians 6 and verse 9, again from the New Living Translation, it says, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. It feels tiring sometimes. Man, we're, I'm still doing the good. Don't see the results. Come on, don't get tired doing the good, right things, because at just the right time, we will, wherever you're at, say that with me, we will, I will, make it personal, I will, what? Reap a harvest of blessing, not just a harvest, but of God's blessing if I don't give up, if I don't lose heart, if I don't die along the way. Come on inside. If I keep trusting and keep believing. So notice this. When troubles strike, it's not when, or it's not if rather, but when troubles strike. Watch not to get frustrated at God, but instead admit the fact, I need your help, God, right now. And thank him for being by your side because God is right there with you, helping in you, strengthening you so you can make it through. Let me pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone watching today. And God, I know there are those who hearts are broken right now, those who feel kicked in the gut, struggling for that next breath. God, the troubles are all around us. The pressures are real. 
But God, I thank you that you are close to those in that state. To us in that moment, you are so close. And God, you're our help, our deliverance. You're what we need. And God, I pray, God, right now, that God, you would just be that strength to someone right now, that wisdom, that courage that they need today. That you would be that release they need in their spirit, God. And we thank you for that. We praise you for that. God, we pray as well, God, put your hedge of protection all around us. Keep all sickness and disease from our homes and our families and keep us safe and well. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, go on the website, EncounterChurch.today. It's on the screen. Sign up for a small group today. Become a part of a community. Tell us what group you're in. Invite your friends to be a part of that group with you. And don't forget to spend some time today in the Word, fasting, praying, just really believing for God to move. If you need anything, all the information is on the screen. Reach out to us. We love you. We're just excited about what God has for your life.